now good morning live from Miami it's cooking with Rudy so as you can tell it's really really early this morning but I'm up and I want to go ahead and make a lunch uh, today we're cooking crock pot ribs this little bad boy is the coolest thing ever it makes anybody look like an awesome chef um, stuff that we need isn't that much today we just got some ribs that I let thaw out the fridge last night onion leftover beer raised rib sauce and just a little bit of wine so what we want to do we want to set the crock pot for slow or low Select. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and set this for eight hours. Uh, this thing will probably be ready around 11 today. And let's start that one. The thing I like about crock pots is like so you can make almost anything and you can make it fast. Well, oh, sorry. Let's try this again. Like I said, it is early. Um, if you can plan. You can have an awesome meal, you can have an awesome late lunch or dinner. It depends on what you want to do with this. You kind of got to go one meal ahead with these things. Now, so far I haven't really gotten too much into the into this yet. All I've really done is uh, early ribs and a couple other items. Alright, I got my potato peeled. All you really need is one. Uh, cut this up here. I always have always, I don't know why, but I always like to cut up my potatoes in really small, small pieces. Very early in the morning. Be careful that everything I do. <laughs> All right, so we open up the crock pot, dump the stuff in. Uh, important thing for you to learn about crock pots is you definitely want to make sure that you have some liquid in there, whether it's water, sauce, or something else, just some kind of liquid to make sure you don't burn it up. Uh, the ribs will come out very soft. I learned that if you cook them slower for longer, you'll get a better better deal. If you overcook them, they'll still be good. The only problem is you'll have more like a rib stew than anything else. Uh, when everything's said and done, um, there'll be a liquid in here. And what you want to do is you can leave it in there or you can drain part of it out. Depends on how quickly you consume the rest. Um, this is a quick dinner for one, so I only got a small pack of ribs over here. Okay, there goes my hat. Ah. Unpack ribs. Like I said, these are sitting in the freezer, refrigerator. Thought out. I got them where they fit perfectly. You definitely want to make sure that they're just fitting. And adding a little flavor. I'm going to do onion over here. Okay, that's that. And these are totally optional, what I'm going to show you here in a minute. But they work. So let's start with the primary ingredients. One thing you definitely will need is old beer now. Not a big beer drinker. Or sometimes if it's later on in the afternoon, I can have one and kind of split it with this. I'm going to dump. About a good amount where there's liquid underneath the underneath the uh, the deal. This is a very old beer. It's a Czech beer. You got that. Pour just a little bit of wine. Can be almost any flavor. This is a raised sweet sauce. 
me any sweet barbecue sauce. I've even done the uh, Tony Roma stuff like that, which is actually pretty good too. I want to put a good, as they call it, a generous amount of this sauce on here. And when it's done, you definitely want to add a, a little bit more. What I do is I usually just kind of rub it in. There's that. Okay, so these are additional things that you can add in here. Uh, this tequila hot sauce. Just a little bit. As I told you, I'm a huge fan of garlic. So, if you know me, you know there's going to be garlic in here. Try to find the spices directly on the meat. And here's stuff we're gonna add here. Let's see. I'm gonna add pepper. Add a little bit of paprika. And a bit of basil. Your standard meat steak. All right, and in seven hours and fifty-four minutes, we'll have dinner. Like I said, very easy, very low maintenance. Let it cook, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.